Eugene Nosa here, co-founder of Spocom, and we're here at my buddy Troy Sumitomo's facility in Huntington Beach, California called Five Axis, and we're here to see the bespoke model of the Spocom trophy that we came up with. It's five years strong now, and uh, we're gonna see the behind the scenes story of how it all came about. Okay, hi, I'm Troy from Five Axis, and uh, we're, I'm here to show you guys basically how these trophies are built. Uh, behind me are the past four years, uh, examples of the past four years. Uh, that was actually the first one right there, the, the silver one. But as you can see, we've kind of evolved the finishes on them. And um, so we're going to show you, you know, some ideas that we have for the finishes as well. But um, just to show you how these things are made, these things are all start out as flat uh, aluminum stock. Um, this, in this case, this is actually one inch thick. This stuff is about a quarter inch thick. But all these, these uh, graphics are actually water jet cut. So high pressure water comes out and uh, actually cuts through the metal. Um, it's pretty insane because you can imagine how thick this is and how hard it is to cut through this. Well, the water actually just, you know, it comes out in such a high pressure and in such a concentrated nozzle pattern that it actually cuts through here. And if you look carefully, you can actually see the, the marks on here from, from where the water jet went through here. And because this is so thick, what's weird is it actually ends up deflecting a little bit and cutting it in, in, in a bit of an angle. So once it's all done, this is the only part that we have to really process and, and bend. So we'll, we'll put this bend in here, we'll put it in a big break and actually bend this in, into it. And the rest of the stuff that just has to be all finished off. And these are like the little brackets that hold these two parts together. So that these little brackets go in between. So once we get that all done, then we go into the actual painting phase. And in this case, um, you know, we're recommending two different colors. And so we're gonna, we're gonna analyze these two and, and see which ones the bosses really like. Um, so, you know, I was saying, you know, white's really good in fashion right now. I mean, everything that you see from, you know, whether it's clothing accessories to even automotive accessories, I mean, white is really hot. And then because we haven't really done anything in the blue fa family, I thought, you know, maybe like an anodized blue would look really good. We have two samples here, but this is the better of the two. So either way, they're going to be both a paint process that we're going to apply after, you know, we get done prepping all this stuff. So this is all pretty much ready to go. Uh, all we got to do is, uh, is prime them and then, then we can go into the paint process. Okay, so the story behind these trophies is actually pretty interesting. Back in 2007 when they launched the show, um, Eugene came to us and said, hey, we want something very unique as far as a trophy is concerned. We know what the standard trophy looks like. It's a little, usually a little dude on top of some kind of wood and some gold is involved. Um, because this is an industry thing and we really wanted to kind of highlight our capabilities, we thought we'd come up with a really cool, pretty simple to build idea, but it, it had some level of complexity due to all the parts. So we made up this little foam core model of it. This is obviously not the same size, but this is kind of what we started with as, as the idea. And uh, you can see, you know, we kind of, we thought it would be neat to put a little dimension in there by putting that bend in there. So this is where we started out with, and pretty much, I mean, it just evolved from there. But uh, you know, the thing, the cool thing about it, it's very architectural looking, it's got dimension, but yet it's, it's, it's very simple to make. So yeah, we're just really excited to be a part of this. You know, I mean, Five Axis has been a part, you know, of the Spocom show since the very beginning. And uh, you know, really want to thank the guys for inviting us out every year and stuff. I mean, it's it's a great partnership. It's a great way for us to kind of showcase what we can do and be a part of a, a really you know trend-setting part of the industry. So thank you guys, and I uh, hope you enjoy the trophies if you win one. We don't sell them. We don't give them away. <laughs>